Hello, greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mancillon. I thought I come and wish you a wonderful day. For it is the equinox day today. We will need to balance out the energy to see what is too much, what is too little, and to balance it out. We want to find this place of serenity. For in the world, in the physical universe, everything is in a state of agitation. It's like the, the atoms are agitated, the electrons are going like very, very fast to go around the proton, and, and then the cells are agitated, and then the body is agitated. And so, we want to move on to a state of, 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 of agitation, to serenity, to the place of, of stillness within ourselves. For within God, there is both sti stillness, that's why He's eternal, as a still being, and He's agitated, that means infinitely agitated, He moves into all sphere, into the field of expansion of the universe. So, but within us, we need to always go back to center, to go within the heart, to let go of the mind. I thought, not that the mind is, uh, when the mind works, we use it, but sometimes the mind doesn't work, so it's the time to let it go. Let go of thoughts and, and, and projections. I, I want to pull a few cards, for 12 cards, for the 13 cards, for the, to see what is coming up. Uh, the light is not really so good, but probably will come back. Oh, there's a cloud, that's why it is. And so, um, so I'm going to pull 12 cards to see for each constellation what we... So the, the, first, the first card is for Aries, but it's for everyone that what is potential. And here we have exhaustion. It means the, we're, doing, uh, we're doing too much to please others. Uh, we, we too much, it's, it's the potential of doing too much. We don't want to be doing too much. It's, uh, when it's too much, is too much. So, so we have to slow down a little bit. And what we possess, what for Taurus specifically, is what we possess, is postponement. It means that it's, it's just kind of a delay. It's like a, uh, looking inside a clear picture that is full of, of colors and, and living in a black and white world. So we still have, we, we learn to cultivate our dreams uh, until they're ready to realize themselves. I will return to those cards later. Then in Gemini is what we think, for specifically for Gemini, but then for, for all of us, it's what we think, communication and mental travel. And here we have harmony, we, we're flowing, we're, the mind is starting to, to get it in some sense. And so we, we um, so it, it should, should be a good uh, month for the Geminis. Then in Cancer is our inner world, our envi and home environment, and here we have creativity. It is the great mother nature, it is the, it, it is the, the, the universal card, it is about, uh, about uh, connecting to, to larger pictures in order not to get lost in any details. Um, so that is in Cancer, so it's a creative month for the Cancer. Uh, although the, the Taurus may be a little postponed and the Aries may, may just try to spend too much energies. Now we move into to Leo, and Leo is uh, for Leo specifically, but for everybody it's about passion, it's about children, it's about family. And here we have in the heart, we have uh, isolation. It is a card that um, it's like we're frozen in, in ice and so we're having a hard time moving forward with what we want to move forward and so it makes us sad and we cry and those tears are dissolving the ice. It's symbolic, but it is really what is happening. I will return to that card later. Then we, then we are in Virgo. Virgo is, uh, is the virgin. It is asking us to take care of our health. It is about what we nourish ourselves with, materially, spiritually. It's the kind of purity. And here we have control. So we, we're nourishing ourselves from the control we are able to exert. But, but at some point, we're going to be able to realize that we, we, there is no control. We have to control what's within, but there is no outer control. Anything we can con truly control. We're all out of control. We, we want to be out of control. So Because when it's somebody that's holding on and we want to let go and flow and so then in Libra specifically for Libras but for, for everyone it is the world of relationships whether it is professional or sentimental or all relationships and here we have the card of intensity it's about love it's about light it's about coming in very strong light that everything has been illuminated on the relationship level then um, then in Scorpio is what's coming up from the depths of the subconscious, so specifically for the Scorpio it will be a really good month. We have the source, the source is coming from within, so it is our creator that is, that is showing up in our life and so we should be, we should be grateful and continue to, to work with the blessings of receiving that source energy, that consciousness, for in life there is a, for when we follow the guidance there is always an intelligence that is always informing us, guiding us, showing us the, the, the relative relationship of thing in relationship to the time and the lessons we are learning. 
Then in Sagittarius, it is uh, the Sagittarius is what we aim for, is, is, the, is, is the, what our concerns, our laws, our philosophies, and here we have the lovers. For uh, personally, I am eager to move into this new relationship that is before me. So there is many potential relationships, but, but it's about finding the, the, the true, um, the true complement, the true harmonious uh, lifestyle with someone else. Uh, then in, in Capricorn is what comes to us from the great mother, from the universe. And here we have dichotomy, it's called schizophrenia here, but I don't quite agree with the term. It's more a dichotomy, it's, it's a part of us that wants to go in one way and another part of us that wants to go in another way. So we'll return to that later, but it's coming to us from the universe. Uh, then in, in Aquarius we have, um, in Aquarius we have, it's our hopes, it's our dreams, it's our wishes, it's our friends. Um, and here we have uh, healing, for that is we want really healing. We want to we find ourselves whole, we want to be whole, we want to be integrated. And so we, we're hoping for that wholeness, that healing, that we'll be able to find our freedom from. And then in Pisces is the karma, the inevitable those things we cannot avoid, it's the result of, of all the deck and, and here we have success, for success is inevitable, it is just a matter of how long can we delay it, how long can we prevent it, how long can we resist it, so it is good news and the outcome will be compromise, there is a certain compromise that the ego needs to make in order to achieve what it needs to achieve and so, um, so once we let go of this, uh, I'm going to return to the heiress here, the, once we let go to the, of the overacting, uh, doing too much and finding ourselves exhausted, we're going to be able to get move into the sharing mode, it is more like it's a kind of compassion, of teaching, of sharing, then um, then we'll, uh, in, in Taurus, we had this picture of postponement. Once the postponement aid, we, we still find ourselves an outsider. Huh? It's a, still the same idea of looking into the world from the outside position, but eventually we're going to find this mastery. It's going to be ours. We're going to be granted this mastery of self, where we're going to be integrated. When it comes to, to this card in, um, in, uh, in Leo, yeah, in Leo, it, it, the isolation is the card of, the, of, the, of this, this guy, having those tears that dissolve the ice. Uh, very soon, there's going to be the, the wheel of change, the wheel of good times, and so everything's going to everything's going to shift. Um, so in, in, uh, from Capricorn, this schizophrenia, this, this dichotomy will be uh, uh, eventually will be resolved by the lovers, by the, the finding our partners. We're gonna, it's going to be very much of assistance to the light working community to find their soulmate, to find this balanced energy. For a long time, we needed to be ourselves alone because we needed to develop our spirituality. But now it's time to reconnect on that level. And when it comes to the compromise, we, in order to know what we need to do to compromise is to go within the silence, for the silence knows, the si in the silence so many things will be revealed. So it's about creating a lot of silence within ourselves. And, uh, and so I'm going to sing a song to finish, it's a song that celebrates the morning. <coughs> it's called Morning Has Broken. Morning has broken like the first morning. Blackbird has spoken like the first bird. Praise for the singing, praise for the morning. Praise for them springing fresh from the world. Sweet the rain you fall, sunlit from heaven, like the first dew fall on the first grass. Praise for the sweetness of the wet garden, sprung in completeness where his feet pass. Mine is the sunlight, mine is the morning, born of the one light, hidden so plain. Praise revelation, praise every morning, God's recreation of the new day. Morning has broken like the first morning. Blackbird has spoken like the first bird. <clears throat> Praise for the singing. 
praise for the morning, praise for them springing fresh from the world. A great song of Cat Stevens. Well, it's about praying. Praying is very important. You address the universe and then you meditate. You go into the silence and then you receive the answer. You receive the guidance. And, and so more and more we're going to be conscious. There's so many things that are about to change, both energetically and physically. For the physical world, it's the last to change always. Well, I hope you, you have this good... Um, I wanted to thank you very much uh, for, for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, uh, donation as well. Uh, very soon uh, we're going to move into the complete new cycle where the celebration will be the, the main course of the day, will be to, to work in fulfilling creative avenues, to, to communicate and share ideas, to, 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 um, to travel the world and, and to, um, to celebrate the, the, the joy of being. So uh, uh, thank you very much and I'll tell, uh, hopefully I'll come back soon and I'll, I'll talk to you later. Namaste.